Hi everybody, Phil Black again, founder and creator of Fit Deck Exercise Playing Cards. You are now joining us for the advanced mode in Fit Deck Bodyweight for iPhone. If you're coming out of order, we had the first video which introduced Fit Deck Bodyweight for iPhone. The second video showed you the basic mode and how to navigate the basic mode of Fit Deck Bodyweight for iPhone. In this video, we're going to show you how to go in there and unlock the advanced mode to see some of the other cool things that this app will have in store. So thanks for joining us. If you missed the first two videos and you're interested, go back and check them out also. Thanks for coming. If you want to go into advanced mode, go down to this peel up icon in the bottom right corner. So when you turn on the menus, right down here in the bottom right corner, you hit, you hit that peel up menu. The peel up will, will, menu will give you some options down here. I'm not going to go into all the options, I'm just going to go into the settings option, which is where you turn advanced mode on. Now you have some digital embellishments that we'll see how they work. And there are some other things here about how, how often you want the toolbar to hide and, and how many seconds the timers go on and all those little neat things that you can do on your own if, uh, if you so choose. So now we're going to get out of here by peeling back down. And now we're going to see, well, what does the advanced mode give me now? What are some of the cool things it can do? First thing it will do is allow you to configure a specific workout. Not just take a deck of cards and shuffle them and flip cards down. Let's say you wanted to do you wanted to do a some number of card workout or some number of minutes workout. You tap and reveal this little icon down here, the whistle. You tap the whistle, and the whistle gives you the option to configure a workout. That's what I want to do. I want to create my own workout. Now the options that it gives you a work for workout goal are just go, which means you're just going. You don't have a goal in mind, either minutes or cards, you're just gone. You want to stop whenever you want. The second option is, I want to do a workout based on number of cards. Today I want to do 10 cards, tomorrow I want to do another 10 cards. By the end of the week, I've done all 50 cards. That's what a lot of people like to do. So you want to base your workout on number of cards. Some people say, I want to base my workout by number of minutes. And I'll do as many cards as it takes, but I just want to do a 20 minute workout However many cards I get through is on me. So those are the three basic options. Just go, I want to work out by number of cards, I want to work out by number of minutes. And that's it. That's how you configure a workout. So let's say you wanted to do a 10 card workout, which would be great. 10 cards, start new workout. Okay, now you can see on the bottom a little what we call a progress bar comes up. And the progress bar has how many card, what card you're on, happens to be card number one, and what your goal is, 10 cards. You remember we just put a 10 card workout as our goal in the configure um, function, and it's got a little timer down here, so it's telling you how much time you're spending getting through these 10 cards. So as we start finishing these cards, you'll see it's card number five of 10, card number 6 of 10 and that little blue bar on the bottom will give you a visual reminder of how much you're progressing through your workout. Now some people might say, hey what, that thing's in my way, I want to read the bullet points or I don't really care so much about my progress every second of my workout, all you have to do is tap that and make that go bye bye and then you have that full card again that's popping up to do what you will with. But if you want to you want to check in again after you're a couple minutes deep, you want to see what card you just finished, you just pop it open again, pop it back, pop it open. So that's your option. Now the other nice thing is when we come upon an exercise that requires timing. Okay, this is this is great. Workout goal reach. We got to our 10th card. Now we can either conclude and it'll give us a nice pat on the back or we can say 10 cards. Man, I I thought 10 cards I'd be tired, but I'm just getting started. The sweat's going. I'm feeling good. I want to keep going. We love that. So you just keep going and as you do more exercises it's going to continue to log card 14 of 10. That's like those people who say I'm going to give 110 percent. Love those people. Okay so we keep going. We're going to, we got to the end of the line here because we, we only checked upper body exercises so we're done. You can see if you try to keep going there's no more upper body exercises. It's going to light up red for you. That means you finished all your upper body exercises. Let's do something else. So while we're in here let's go into the card list and let's turn all those, all those 
exercises back on so we're not just confining ourselves to upper body only. Let's get back to a workout. Okay, here we go. Great. This is what I was looking for. I was looking for a card that has a timed aspect to it. And you may have caught, when we got to that card, a little tick went on. And I'll, just for illustration purposes, I'll do that again. When you roll into a card that's timed, listen for the tick. That means that's giving you a little reminder that, hey, this is a, this is a card that you're going to time yourself. So in the advanced mode, that little thing pops up and allows you to time yourself with a visual timer for that particular exercise. So for this, the bridge, a beginner would do 20 seconds, intermediate would, be, would do 30, and advanced would do 50. So you can pop open the timer, and as soon as you hit that, that arrow, the clock's going to start ticking. So let's try that. Let's say I'm a, somebody who does uh, a plank for 20 seconds. Bam. Now I'm in the plank on my elbows, and I have right in front of me a clicking timer to keep track of how long I take. I know some of you out there, if you didn't have something like this to keep you honest, you may cut your plank or your bridge a little bit short. I know you're out there. All right, that's 20 seconds. So let's say at 30 seconds we stop and we want to move on. But if we wanted to keep going, some of these exercises, I'm going to mute this for a second as that keeps rolling. Some of the exercises like bear crawl and crab crawl and things like that, you're going to be moving around in an area. So this nice big display allows you to see from a distance how much time you've done and even here with your with your ears you can hear the clicking and every 10 seconds there's a little bit of a different pop so you know what stage you are in the particular workout. Now once again if you think this is cluttering your screen up and you like the, to hear the ticking but you don't want to see necessarily the time, you can make that go away and you can make this progress go away and then you're back to your nice simple clean fit deck card. So we leave that up to you. Do you want to have the bells and whistles and see what's going on at all times or would you rather have the clean slick look? That's up to you. Let's get rid of that. And that's pretty much it for the advanced mode. Now not only can you configure your own workout by number of cards or number of minutes and you can have that timing feature that gives you a heads up on how long in duration each of these workouts are taking, but you have the progress bar and you have the, the timer that comes out giving you a little bit extra uh, goodness from the mobile application. So let's get back out of here. Well, I hope that gives you a good little overview as to what our FitDeck, first FitDeck mobile app is all about. Now, before I go, I'm going to do that 15 second test because I made a point of it in the last video. FitDeck customers typically want to get their workout going as in right now. So we're going to do our 15 second test. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say, let's assume that I want to do a 20 minute workout with FitDeck body weight and I want to start in fewer than 15 seconds. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, here we go. Fit deck body weight. Bam. I already know I'm, I am in advanced mode, so I'm going to go in here to the configurator. There's already a, conf a workout going, so I'm going to conclude that workout. I'm going to say thank you. I concluded. I know. I did 200%. Then I'm going to go in there and configure a workout. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Start my workout. Bam, that's 14 seconds. I had to get out of a workout too. 14 seconds before I'm starting my first squat. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for action now. So thanks for listening. I hope this was helpful. I hope it gives you a glimpse as to what's to come. Think about this type of functionality and ease of use with all 40 Fit Deck titles. And then, mind you, think about taking these different titles and mixing them up together in your own custom workout. For instance, let's say you wanted to do a combination body weight, kettlebell, and Navy SEAL workout. You would come down here and check off all the apps that you have. You say you want to do that type of workout for 30 minutes and it will serve you up 30 minutes of random exercises from those three or four Fit Deck titles that you chose. Now that is magic. Again, thanks for listening. Get out there, get fit, and stay fit.